Hey everyone, it's Kevin Oxen here with YourMakingMe.com. And today what I want to talk about is something that's been on my mind for the past month or so. And it's whether I should take my current laptop and switch it over to a tablet. And one of the ones I had in the running was the Surface Pro 2. Now I realize the Surface Pro 3 is already out, but I haven't played around with it yet. So I'm going to talk a bit about the Surface Pro 2. And a lot of the things that I found, my negatives especially, will apply to anything, whether it's Surface Pro 1, 2, 3, or whether you're looking at an iPad. So let's get into it. Now the first thing I want to do is differentiate between a Surface RT and a Surface Pro. They're very similar, but right now you can get great deals on Surface RTs. You're talking three, four hundred bucks, so it looks really juicy. The downside side to the RT is that it's a completely different program. It's not a regular Windows uh, system which means that you're going to mostly be limited to using apps from the Windows App Store. That may not be a bad thing, but you're not going to have the full Windows experience. Now, if you get one of these things, on the other hand, the Surface Pro, this thing will run anything that your current laptop or desktop does, and unless you're really into the latest and greatest, this thing will smash probably anything that you're using right now. It's very quick, very powerful. There are a number of great benefits as far as using a tablet versus a laptop or a desktop computer. I want to go over two that I found when I was testing out the Surface Pro 2. The first one is that it runs anything. That's big. Because one of the most frustrating things I come across, or I'll say, this is a great program, I love it. Uh, is there an app for it? Oh, there is one for Android but not for iOS or vice versa and this and that. And Listen, if it works on your laptop already, if you have a Surface Pro 2, pow, it works instantly. And the benefit of this is that if you want to use this as your everyday machine, now you don't have to worry about syncing things up and, and whatever else. It just You put it on one time, you work, use your programs, and everything just works. You take your work with you. The second thing that really sells it for me is the fact that it's got this right there. It's really hard to see. You probably can't even see it. But it's a USB 3 port. That's huge. USB 3 or just even having a USB port means that now instead of having to plug into my computer with a special Apple cord or whatever else you use, I just find a USB drive, plug it in, transfer something onto it, off of it. It just it gives me options. If I have a USB hub, now what it means is I can take that, plug it in, and now I can plug in a full-size keyboard, a mouse. I can plug in several monitors and it helps me be productive and when I'm done, all I need to do is just grab this thing, unplug everything. I can even take off the, the keyboard, pow, and left with a regular tablet. That is awesome. Portable, and it works. Now, for me, the biggest knock I have against the Surface, and really, it's not the Surface or it's not Microsoft, it's, it's just, it's tablets in general, is the fact that it still reminds me a lot of my netbook experience. And I'll tell you really quickly my netbook story, but... Back a couple of years ago, or well, a long time ago now, I guess when they first came out, I got a netbook. And I started working with it, and I was excited, and I bought it, and I went to the coffee shop, and I was like, I'm going to write the next great novel with this thing. And then I cracked it open, and I started typing. But it was a pretty small keyboard, so I had to be kind of close like this, and I was kind of hunched over, and after an hour, I felt like I was burrowing into something, and it was terrible. It wasn't a good experience. The keyboard was too narrow for me. And I didn't like it. Now, my wife, on the other hand, she liked it. So if you like the smaller screen, the tighter keyboard, this thing may work for you, may work great. For me, oh, I hate to say it because I don't want to say, give me a bigger screen. You know, I don't, I, I'm not saying I, I want a 20-inch tablet to lug around because then it's not a tablet anymore, obviously. But I feel like I need something just a little bit wider so I can have a little bit wider keyboard and just have a, a little bit of breathing room. So I don't, I don't feel like I'm, I'm all hunched over and, and like an animal burrowing into the sand uh, trying to get things cleaned up. I was really cheering for the service because I figured that was going to be as close as I could get to having a computer in my own hands. And I love the idea. Just it's a little too cramped. Yeah, you know what? I could get like a folding keyboard or a rolling keyboard. And I, I don't want to be that guy at the coffee shop that's got you know 8,000 things set up and I got my whole desk set up when I'm out in a boat. I want to be able to walk in somewhere, open it up when I need to, and just be able to work. But I also want to have the power so when I come home, I can plug in a hub, get things ready to go, and just go from there. Oh man, it's tough. 
I really wanted to have a, a tablet slash laptop to be walking around in and, and just having something nice and thin and portable that looks cool. There was a couple of things that just drew me back just enough that make me want to go ahead and get another laptop. But I guarantee in the next year and a half or so, if I look at this again, I'm probably going to be going with something like a Surface Pro where it's got the power of a laptop. It would have USB ports and something where I can plug it in and make it part of my home system, but also strip it all off and take it wherever I want to go and just have a regular tablet. So there you go. That's my take on the Surface Pro. Really powerful, great functionality. You can use it for anything you want, any programs you want, as long as they're window, you can put it on here. A couple of the limitations for me, it feels, again, cramped. If you're okay with that, don't worry about it. Uh, this one here, the, the version I have is only 64 gigs. The Surface Pro 3s are going up to 512 gigs if you want to pay a bit more for upgrades. So there's some more flexibility in the size of the drives, but that's also something that you need to keep an eye on. And I'm excited about, you know, a year from now or two years from now when I'm buying my next big laptop because I guarantee it's going to be something just like this. If you like the video, hey, it would help me out a lot if you just throw, give me a thumbs up. Or also, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, whether you think I'm crazy or whether you think I'm awesome. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. I'm Kevin Oxner.